All right, welcome to today's video. We're going to look at uh, version 4 of this template that I've been working on for so long. And starting to come together, a lot of the issues have been worked out and I've added new MIDI. I've edited some of the old MIDI over and over. And it's starting to, uh, in my opinion, start to work pretty nice. So I'm going to do a, another demonstration. And um, I'm going to try to play it live on the keyboard and to unmute the tracks as we go through and build this up. It's supposed to be an epic theme with a D sharp Lydian type scale, 4-4 uh, time, 120 beats per minute. So uh, let's just do this uh, test here. It starts off with an indie phrase and it's going to build from there. Now I'm going to just start with two keys kind of go back and forth. And then once it's all built up and all the tracks um, have been unmuted, then I'm going to start to move across the keyboard just to show you all the variations of how this is set up to be kind of continuously variable. Um, all right, so let's start with uh, the first theme here. So there it is. Um, it's just, uh, it, it works pretty good it, considering that this is all done real time, just played on the keyboard. Uh, the timing of the uh, transitions between the notes could be better. But you can see how the MIDI is working nicely to build this epic theme up. And uh, now the beauty is that every one of, let's. Uh, Let's just solo the elite detailed strings here. And we're going to solo uh, the bass. And uh, you can hear as I go through the 76 keys, um, the differences in the MIDI. And you can see the MIDI here for the elite um, change of MIDI here on this uh, detail sonato. So watch that as I play through some of these keys. That's the original keys. Now, if we add in some of the uh, percussion, and we speed it up because it's only at half tempo here because a lot of these ostinatos are meant to really be uh, quite fast. Let's turn that up to full speed.
So that's where a lot of these uh, the uh, string actions are coming from, the movement. So let's just go back again and turn it back down because this particular idea is slower. And uh, you can also see here that I'm using ostinato set number four. But if you take the time, and I did, and I've created a lot of different ostinato shapes and movements in here. And it's those custom shapes that really bring life to certain of these tracks. And then other tracks are made to just um, be cohesive and to keep everything flowing together as you uh, go through the keys so that you're not getting really abrupt changes in timing or themes, right? So let's just go back. And having everything turn on like before. Um, and maybe we can change some of the ostinatos around here. And now let's play it again with that in mind. So. So I've been having a lot of fun with this and uh, I just wanted you to see kind of the end results as uh, I'm pretty much um, getting towards the end of working on this. Um, having written I don't know how many MIDI notes and uh, it's to the point where now I can go back into the MIDI project, change the key, the time signature and the theme of things and still have the MIDI work in a nice manner so that whatever I start with, if it, in this case it was indie, or if it's a really slow passage with legato lines, um, I have enough MIDI here that it will all pick it up. It'll pick up that uh, the original chord progression, that's uh, the master progression that's driving all this. And it works really, really well. So just wanted to share that. Hope you're having a great day and that you were able to make some music today in the world. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.